Well, I got the timing cover all cleaned up. I got a new oversized seal that came with the kit for the speedy sleeve installed. And if you look in there closely, you'll see there's grease packed all the way around the back side. That's because there's a spring in there. And that spring helps hold the seal against, tight against the sealing surface of the harmonic balancer to prevent a leak. The grease is in there to hold pack tight because it'll hold the spring in there when you go sometimes it can pop out when you install the harmonic balancer so that's just a little mechanics tip I hard glued it to the timing cover I'm going to use uh, light permatex number I believe it's number two it remains pliable it was it's impervious to gasoline oil antifreeze withstands 5,000 psi or maybe that's the one that stands withstands 3,000 we'll have to go see Okay, permatax number two. Not really sure. Outside of the package tells you everything will withstand. I just know because I used it. I've used this stuff for years. Or you can use whatever you want but that's what I prefer to use I grew up on it now on the edge of this gasket here right here you're gonna see a little bit of a edge hanging over once that tacks up you want to take a razor blade and trim that off straight what you're going to do is you're gonna put a layer of RVT on there and a bead in the corners on the engine me I'm going to use my Permatex number two because I've used it for decades and I trust it and I'm going to uh, get real close to reassembling this sucker. All right. Well, I didn't think you people wanted to watch me clean parts for two hours, so I just cut that out. Just imagine it clean enough to eat off of. It's clean enough to glue a gasket to. You got corrosion pitting and stuff like that, but generally you get the idea. The surface has got to be clean, no raised material. Scuffed up a little bit so it'll withhold it'll grab on to whatever you're wanting to stick to it all right then we'll see you later well I've been working a couple hours now I got the accessory drive back on I also put the bracket for the tensioner pulley back on and put the fan belt back on the way I did it was I put the belt on everything except for this top idler pulley then I used a 15 millimeter wrench on the tensioner pulley and then I just push the belt down underneath that pulley and that's a fairly easy way to do it put a drop of thread lock here and there and when I go to put my uh, radiator hoses on new or used just to look, take a little bit of Gojo hand cleaner non pumice no pumice you want no grit in there just a little coat on the inside of that hose and it'll slip right on and the next time you have to take it off, it'll come right off. Best thing in the world I ever found for it. All right. Well, I'm going to start it up, make sure the timing's still in, and see what we got left to do. Well, I got her all back together, and she's running just fine. Topping it off with antifreeze, letting it warm up, and see if we can put back in what we took out. I'll have to add a little bit extra because we did lose some to the leaking. And then, uh, I guess I'll get around to cleaning those battery filaments one day. All right, well, that's how you put a set of timing chains in a 3.04 2002 Ranger. Bye.